Nia Long, she was doing an interview and she was just talking about how her life been ever since it came out that her fiance was cheating on her with another girl and how it been for her son. She revealed that her son Kez, who she shares with him, has taken the split very hard. She expressed how the teenager was going through a difficult time and he's still trying to process that his parents are no longer together. She said, my only focus right now is my youngest son. He's having a really tough time. I'm sure I have some things that I'm suppressing, but I have to do that to take care of him first. That's the given. It's natural. And then she just went on and said how she don't like how the Celtics and the organization made a very private situation public. That brought more eyes to her. And I'm pretty sure her sons, like at school or whatever, people ask him, oh, what happened with your mama and such and such? Like before, when she first found out he was cheating, it was like a few weeks before it came out to the open. She was dealing with that. And her family was dealing with that privately. But then once it came breaking news, that's when everybody started hopping in her comment section. That's when Papa Rossi started following her. How do you feel? What are you going through right now? And her oldest son, I'm pretty sure, he was in high school at the time. Everybody probably running up to him asking him, oh man, what happened to your mama? This, that, and the third. So I'm pretty sure all that is annoying because when your family go through stuff privately, that's one thing. Y'all try to deal with it, get through it day to day. But when everybody and their mama know your business, that's when it becomes awkward. It becomes weird because everybody want to know your business because people knows it. But at the same time, it's private information. So you're like, you don't need to know about it. And her fiance, like, he messed up. He cheated on her and he didn't tell her until it was about to come out to the public. So meaning he probably won't go ever tell her he was cheating. And just the fact that she was about to move closer to him while he was cheating and a lady who he was cheating with was helping her move, like, it's all messy. And I can understand what she's going through. They was engaged for like 10, 11 years, so it's definitely a reason for that. Because the way I look at it, if you've been with a girl for X amount of years, you get her pregnant, y'all both got good financial situation, and then on top of that, you propose to her, I feel like in about two, three years, y'all should get married at, at the most. So why the hell is it taking y'all nine plus years to get married? Like, but who knows, man? He probably was cheating for a minute. What y'all think about this, boy? Be make sure I subscribe. Come on.